Now we had a debate going on, what happens with cold weather and 3D printed airplanes? Because we always wait to the best possible conditions. Believe it or not, this whole plane is 3D printed. Steppen from 3D Lab Print, he hooked us up initially with a huge box of planes. And part of the reason this one never flew is because it was damaged in the mail. But luckily, with the help of Chad and Josh, we glued it together and uh, we think it's airworthy. Uh, we'll see how it holds up to this cold. This guy is a three channel simple build. It's probably the best first 3D print plane you could build because it's lots of wing surface, it's very simple. So let's put it out in the air. Let's do it. Let's go. Big yeah. shout out to Lowell's bot as well. We're actually printing some well, parts for this. That's the benefit. If we crash it, we literally print new pieces and glue them on. Give me about a 30 degree angle up. Like here? Yeah, yeah. Good, we'll to, good go. to go. Ready? In three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Stay up. <laughs> Just like every one of his planes. No it, trim. It's not as fast as I, I was no, expecting actually, it to be very actually fast. Actually, we need to go six out. This is full throttle. Really? And it flies great. <laughs> It looks like it's flying over a battlefield, but really it's just our <laughs> crappy dirt pile. Now, ironically, this is about a scale speed for a plane this size, but we yeah. want to make this thing go fast. I'm a big fan of warbirds that fly relatively scale speed. Uh, you know, I love the guys that do like the 100 mile an hour Mustangs and stuff, but if you scaled that speed up, that Mustang would be doing like supersonic Mach 2. Yeah. <laughs> we're flying. <laughs> This is March and we're flying in this. Ridiculous clip. I don't want to find out what happens in the winter when a quad touches a plastic airplane. <laughs> right, tell my friend. Dude, unbelievable. It never ceases to amaze me how well these little 3D printed planes fly. Yeah. Now we've done in the past, we've done the P-47 today, but we've also done the P-38 was the first one. And we've also done the uh, Spitfire. The Spitfire yeah. is my favorite. But he has like, I don't know, dozens of oh. designs. And this one particularly, the plans to print it, the STL files, or 20 bucks. I mean, it's pretty awesome, and it's $15 of material to print out the entire airframe, which is pretty cool. Whoa, dude, yes! <laughs> yes! I love it! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, man. I gotta do it again. Hey. No. All right, one more time. You good? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> So, as far as flying skills, you can make this as complicated or as easy as you want, but right now we're flying this as a three channel airplane. That Thank means you, you can adjust your roll and your pitch. And the way we fly this plane is we actually bank the plane over, we pull back on the stick. Oftentimes we refer to that as bank and yank. Very simple, but for fast planes, it's fantastic. We just want to see what happens when you fly a plastic plane in cold weather. Apparently, but, uh, not much. Not much at all. Let's put this in. Let's find two three cell 2200s and put six cell on this because now I want speed. We got gotta our, land it. Yeah, we got our ready-made RC race quad course that we didn't take down, and I gotta... Dude, there's obstacles. We're like, wouldn't it be cool if we put a quad course out here? We didn't think about landing airplanes. Oh, wow. Oh, man! <laughs> Excellent landing! Actually, a beautiful yes. landing. Yes, it. dude! This is the first flight with this. Not a single click of trim, but also, this could really be, if you know how to fly three and four channel airplanes, you're comfortable with it, this could be your first 3D printed build, which would be a Warbird, three-channel plane that's six out capable. Wow. That's cool. That's fantastic. All right, we got to put a six out. Let's, 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 let's get it done. Ah, look at that! <laughs> so this is a series connector. Basically, we're taking two three-cell batteries. We're going to hook them together in series, and then we can plug it in as a six-cell battery. So we need to find two three-cells. Yes, OK. So anytime you have a series connection, you actually are adding the cells together. You're not adding the capacity together like parallel. Now, one thing you gotta always make sure is make sure your capacity and the cell count is the same. So we're gonna have 2200 milliamps, 2200 milliamps. We have 98% on this one and 98% on this one. All right, so we are good to go. We're gonna go and hook these two together and we're gonna make a six cell battery and see what happens. I'm nervous. <laughs> Are we ready to try it? All Let's right, just man. give a run up out there. I'm make sure the motor doesn't fly you. out. You need a run up? Run up, ready? Yeah. Better? Okay, that oh almost came out of my hands. Cool. This there way? Yep, ready? Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, wow, definitely a lot faster. I'm carrying a lot more throttle so to keep fast. up with you. So it, you know, you can still slow it down, and it's actually the more voltage you apply, the more efficiency you get, the less amp draw. Oh, oh my man. gosh, dude. Does it look it's, beautiful? Dude, there's a snowstorm over there. Is there? Wow. Is it coming don't towards us over or there. is it going away from us? <laughs> I don't know. It's, I can't tell. I have a feeling it's what just left us. We're probably gonna get sunshine in a minute. I feel, I'm feeling an uh, I'm just gonna roll this upside path, down maybe. here. Woo! All right, can I do a buzz, please? Yeah, yeah. give me a buzz. A little bit windier right now, too. Oh, she's that fast. Woo! Jeez, roll right, bro. Dude. I love it! 
<laughs> now, the cool thing about this is you can actually put retracts on this. I think it's a $10 addition to the plans, but you can make this land uh, on its landing gear. But I was really happy with the performance of the belly lander. Look at that, that thing looks so cool coming right at my face. <laughs> you were like 10 feet from the building. That was awesome. Let's do it faster. Ready? <laughs> Dude, it's pretty incredible up. how well these things it hold up. It flies amazing. Same You're pulling the G's, bro. I'm going to take up, do some Jeez big Louise. loops. Ready? Big loop. Yeah. Three, two, one. Yeah! Loops oh, for yeah. days. Dude, that is majestic. That is awesome. And then we'll just kind of... Uh, like that. Oh, that was sick. I'm trying to snap the wings to tell you the truth. It is not snapping. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome, man. They're pretty strong. Durable. So typically, we always wait for the best weather possible to fly anything 3D printed. This is a fun plane just to take out an everyday plane. Yeah, look we that, figured. Look how it's gliding. This is, is gliding, exactly by the way. Is that yeah. dead stick? That's dead stick. I'm still soaring around dead stick. Oh my look at that. That is fantastic. I love it. Now, if you guys know us, we love anything DIY, and 3D printers have opened up a whole new chapter for flight uh, in so many aspects, whether it's scale DLTL or whether it's whole airplanes. Look at this thing! Watch this. We'll go around this way and we'll go down. That was our uh, disorienting. Yeah, I was like, I don't know what way the plane's moving. All right, one more, one more buzz. Give me a buzz, bro. I need a haircut. Yeah, we all need a haircut. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> what do you think about an inverted low pass? Oh, man. All right, we'll set it up here. I feel like I'm literally in a movie. <laughs> inverted low pass. Like, I won't lie, it's a little bit more like challenging than inverted right? in this wind. All right. Whoa! Yeah! Yeah, dude! Yeah, dude! That's what I'm talking oh about! Oh my goodness! Are you sitting I thought you were landing straight into that flag Ooh. and moving it in the beat and all oh the things. Oh my gosh. I thought he was taking oh, off the ramp man. and started. Come to me. Come to me! Yeah. <laughs> Yes, that was awesome, All man. All in one piece, man. The 3D lab print planes continue to impress. Now, this is actually the third one we've done. We've done the P38, we did the Spitfire, and now we have the P47. If you haven't seen those videos, make sure you check them out. Yeah, and a big shout out to Lulzbot, too. We wouldn't be loving these 3D printed planes if it wasn't so easy to replace printed parts, but we don't have to fix anything on this one. We can fly it again. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. So if you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so. We're doing flying videos all the time, and we'll see you guys next time. See you time. next time.